I'm Carla Fonseca, I'm from Brazil. I'm an economist and an urban planner by background. So there are many different reasons why a company uh, gets involved with arts and culture. To reinforce the positioning they have in a community, for instance. So I want to be recognized as a socially responsible company. I want to be seen as a company that really gives value to the things that count in life. And if you have this motivation, actually you have a series of criteria companies you would use, like uh, what's the profile of the public? What's the target of this um, project? How does this institution relate to the same purposes I have? Because the image in this case is super important. And we have all different kinds of associations between this profile of a company and the profile they want to convey in the message they are uh, trying to put across. So there are all different companies mainly related to uh, B Corporation, to Consumers International, to companies that really follow a purpose and they try to convey this through the actions they have in sponsorship, in private investment, in corporate social responsibility. There are all different concepts and a blurring area across them. So uh, we have less and less philanthropic companies. So image is something hugely important for companies involved in arts and culture. Then there's something that is also very important, it's less the, uh, the qualitative side and it's less, more the, the quantitative side, which is the brand awareness. So companies normally tend to, to think of the benefits they're going to grab from uh, the sponsoring of a project. And they have different ways in which they can uh, do this partnership or this sponsorship, depending on the level of commitment. Sometimes they can hire someone to completely design something that is going to be useful for them in marketing terms, in commercial terms, in image terms. And sometimes they just have a, a tailor-made project that is offered and they say, wow, that's precisely what I was looking for. So there are different ways of dealing uh, with arts and culture from a company's mindset. There's another benefit, which is uh, brand awareness. And it's interesting to see that, for instance, coming to Latin America, the second biggest brand we have in Brazil is called Bradesco. Uh, they propose themselves as a bank that is complete, so they do all kinds of stuff. They do insurance, they do commercial bank, they do investment, and they invest a lot in projects that have to do with image, but they don't invest in projects related to image if these projects don't have a huge impact as they are so big and they have a huge quantity of clients working with them. So brand awareness is key. They decided to sponsor, for instance, the first tournée of uh, Cirque du Soleil in Brazil because Cirque du Soleil is complete, but it also appeals to everybody. So you don't really have to choose between two benefits, you can actually mix them, depending on what your marketing is looking for, what's important for your brand, what's important for your institution. It's interesting to, to take a look you know, uh, at the time frame and see how things have evolved uh, in the relationship between arts and culture and companies. And this involvement has also been mediated by society, obviously. So if you see uh, that people are more and more vocal and more engaged, civil society at large is much more engaged, and you've seen this uh, very much over the past 15 years, basically the 10 last years, also because of the impact of technology that connects us all. The more people ask and the more they say what they're looking for, the more companies hear. And in many different occasions, companies believe and understand that people are looking for local values as a frame to globalization, as uh, identity, as their local production. And it's, it's interesting to see that this convergence of globalization and a more engaged civil society gave much more room for companies to work with arts and culture. So we have different things happening at the same time. We have this flow to a different kind of uh, future of work. People are becoming more flexible. They, are more, they have to be open to different things. You have a more engaged society and you have the impact of technology as something that can work as a frame to globalization and use globalization in, in a good way of you know, making sure that our world is bigger and the world itself is smaller because it's, we are closely connected and not that we are losing our identity and local values because everything needs to be standardized.